Ah, man, here we go. Another episode, Rockstar Reactions. It's your host, Rockstar 2800, the most hated, the most opinionated, the most underrated. You know the rest. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe right now to this channel, Smut Free TV. Also, follow Smut Free TV on Instagram. Hop in them comments. Why? Because every comment counts. And you know, we got the hottest content in these internet streets. No cap. Let's get into it, man. Rockstar Reacts. What is 600 insinuating about Big U in this video? You already know, man. It's another smut campaign being ran by 600 as usual. So let's get into it. Let's see what he has to say this time. This was recommended to me to watch. Said it was funny. Uh, you know, this guy is a great, great actor for YouTube, you know, uh, character so let's see what he has to say this time about you big you that we haven't already heard him say uh y'all let me know what y'all think you know what i'm saying during the video after the video let's get into it nobody believes you all right big you you said a lot of stuff man like the good thing about it i got you to come out your little shell again i got you to come oh so i guess this is a response to big you going on the down a uh, keyway down move conversations you know uh we, we gonna we we gonna react to that too we gonna see what they talking about uh Let's get into 600 and see what he has to say. Come speak. Uh, let's just get straight to it. He say, 600 never been from the set. 600 never got put on. Okay, now listen. We all know at this point in the game, pretty much, when I say pretty much, I believe it's illegal to be from a game, right? So I don't know if you want me to uh, say I'm from a gang on camera. Say I've been officially quartered on at some point to involve myself in potential things that are that are coming. I don't know what you want to do. But, but. <laughs> so he basically saying he won't admit to being from 6 0 because whatever big you got going on, he don't want to be implicated in. All right. But have you heard now, Jackson? My bad. You know, we ain't got no premium over here, man. We're going to get right back to it. Here we go. If I was never from the gang, if I was never, you know, from where you say Yo, I'm not from and all that stuff, you know, why would you be having me in camera? <laughs> talking about gang stuff, bro. Why would we be doing all the stuff that we've done? You know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Why is it even a conversation? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we ain't really got to really address that. It is what it is. Truth's not the truth, right? All right, listen. Hold on. Do we really know the truth? He said the streets know the truth. Do we really know the truth? I'm, I'm curious. Somebody let me know. First thing you hit somebody else, but you said you, well, you didn't want to word it right, but the way it came off is that you beat me up or something. <laughs> we say you put hands on me or something. Hey, bro, listen, we ain't never squabble, bro. The only time we had a chance to squabble, not a real squabble, was um, we went to the park before I just start boxing. And you was talking like, you wanted to challenge me, challenge me somehow. I said, I got some gloves in the trunk right now. We pull up to the park, brand new, some big five little small gloves. We hop out and go to the park. None of the gloves fit our hands. It, like they wouldn't fit. So we both was like, I don't worry about it. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And what? Nah, I think Nah, so. Y'all was going to squabble, but the gloves didn't fit your hands, so y'all didn't squabble no more. Make it make sense for me. I've told you to your face. I'm not scared of you. 
You remember what you told me? You said, I know. You know what's happening, bro. So far, you said. You told him to his face? And he said, I know? I don't know about this, man. We need to see the recording. We need to hear the recording. Where the video at, man? Can you put hands on me twice? It's never happened, bro. I remember one time, probably like in 2009, we were supposed to go do like some type of wrestling or something. We was in the backyard, like wrestling or something. And instead of you wrestling, or what was to do? We was doing something. You tried to like grab. Yeah, hold on, come on. What was y'all doing, bro? Like, be specific. Wrestling, boxing. What? What was y'all doing, bro? I me and put me like in the headlock. I'm like, bro, what is you doing? We wrestling now. You trying to get out of the wrestle and try to get to some clinch type hold stuff. So I'm like, bro, what are you doing? We doing this or not? You know what I'm saying? Because he's probably didn't want to see the strength. You know what I'm saying? But for whatever reason, right? But besides that, bro, we've never squabbled, bro. And fast forward to a few months ago, when all this was going on, all this popping, right? You called my big homie. He said, what's up? You, you want to squabble, cuz? You said, no, I don't want to fight 600. I want to fight who's ever given him all this information on me. Yeah, because the homie said, yeah, cut, cut right around the corner. Cut, pull up right now. I just talked to him. I, I told the homie before you came up there. I said, bro, I'm on deck. I'm two minutes away. Let me know what's happening. He like, bet, I'm going to let you know. Y'all never called me, bro. You know what I'm saying? He the all this. Okay. I'm hearing you bragging about knocking somebody's eye out of jail. Bro, whoever you bragging to, did you tell them that that was a homie? You bragging about knocking one of the homies' eyes out? Did you tell them that the homie was only 150 pounds? So, so when you tell the story, tell the whole story. Don't make it seem like you... Pressing the line, mashing enemies, putting in work. You bragging about not. But what you doing? What work you put in? Who? What enemies you didn't mash? I hate when a nigga talk about another nigga, and but we don't even know what you did. So it don't, it's not even adding up. Can a homie eye out who was one hundred fifty pounds, one hundred forty pounds? Like, come on, bro. Make it make sense, bro. <laughs> so you go on the platform. All right, get back to it. Everybody know. They seen with you any type of gang activity, any type of hood business, they do. Ain't nobody messing with you. So you go to Busters from another hood. I'm talking about Buster, not just somebody from another hood. Busters from another hood, right? And politic <laughs> with people from our enemy hood, you know what I'm saying, who's on witness protection and who whose brother Boogie Brim from Brim's got rolled up off the yard by the homies. Oh, he talking about um what's dude name over there at the Damu Do Sims. I think he's talking about Do Sims. Yeah, I think that's who he's talking about. You know why the homies rolled him up off the yard? Because you caught the dogs on him. Yeah. So you dealing with a nigga who don't like the hood, who don't like you, who did a whole hour video on you, calling you a rat. And it's the only person who oh, you got two people who speak up for you. You got the you got cowgirl. You know, he'll speak up for you. You know what? Speaking of cowgirl, man, hold on. You know it's crazy, man. I just got win this yesterday, man. Hold on, man. It was, Let's play this right quick because it's funny, man. More and more stuff come out from these people, bro. <laughs> Listen to this dude, man. Listen to Cowgirl, man. Listen to, listen to Cowgirl. Tell us a little bit about this bridge building between you, Cowboy, and the people of California. And uh, speak to Nipsey and the community. Cause him a switch in his face. Very supportive of this effort to bring this to justice. He did everything in the world. Very supportive to bring it to justice. He's sitting there like a proud snitch with his chin up. Look at him. 
Biden showed a lot of courage. He spoke the truth, which is in short supply these days. You know, without people like Cowboy, we can't prove these cases. So oh, without man. people like Cowboy. <laughs> He going in on Cowboy, too, man. He crazy, man. Cowboy, we can't prove these cases. ...are afraid or they're adhering to some anti-snitch culture that's working to destroy our community. So we can't have that, you know? Right is right and wrong is wrong. And when, when something wrong catastrophically wrong, like a murder is done in cold blood to an innocent person, we got to speak on it. There's a lot of things that go on in the street that don't need to be talked about. But then there are the important things that do need to be talked about. It's the only way that we can make a decent life for ourselves and for our families. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, hey, you spoke and you said it to the best right there. Uh, you know, uh, this man did a wonderful job. You know, I was always on the criminal side. You know what I mean? But right is right is wrong and wrong. Uh, even criminals have a code of ethics that we need to abide by. Right? That's right. You know, and he was in blatant violation of the criminal code. So that's what involved me to go against the grain and come uh, help the prosecution. Go against the grain and help the prosecution. Right from the horse's yeah. mouth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> boy, it's 600. This boy, he a cold piece. <laughs> Because, you know, he was in blatant violation. You know, there's rules in whatever you do. You know, if it's legal or if it's illegal, there's still rules to the stuff. And, uh, right. You know. But, Cowboy, you didn't snitch. This was on camera. You were merely there as a support yeah, for your okay, friend, your fallen brother. Well, Sometimes you got to go against... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You said it's okay? Whoa, whoa. Let me rewind that. <laughs> he said, well, sometimes it's okay. It's a big, it's a big he's right here, man. Let me rewind that. To the stuff, and, uh, <laughs> right, you know. but cowboy, you didn't snitch. This was on camera. You were merely there as a support yeah, for okay, your friend, your fallen brother. Sometimes you got to go against the code. The code says I was doing this and that, but as time four years later, a lot of people don't feel I like snitched. They feel I did the right thing. You know what I mean? At the He's saying a lot of people don't feel like he snitched. He's talking about his big homie, Big U, <laughs> and everybody on Crenshaw and Slauson who says neighborhood, neighborhood when he pulls up. Well, enough of this clown, bro. Enough of this clown, bro. But that's that's what's good on Crenshaw Slauson. He's good over there, bro. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Big E, right? Oh, nice. So then you say you go to Mexico with me. This is why I stopped shopping on Amazon. I mean, here go the juicy part. Here go the juicy part, huh? This is what I want to hear, man. Let me hear this. Six hundred got a story. I guess Big E brought it up. And you say you pay for a fight or something like that. It's my ticket for bro. Listen, let me explain something to you, bro. You've never been to Mexico. You know nothing about boxing. That whole play was WAC 100 play. WAC 100 set everything up. WAC 100 financially supported everything, bro. So, 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 what are you talking about? You paid something. If anybody knows you, you don't pay nothing for nobody. We went out there in my bins, okay? We went out there on my terms and showed you how. The boxing world go out there in Mexico. You've never been out there. You didn't even have enough money to pay for some 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 Tijuana pussy, bro. Come on, bro. I had to give you the money for that. You know what I'm saying? So, what are you talking about? Then you what? Say you had to pay somebody to take a fall. Hold on, hold on. That ain't even how it goes. Hold on, hold on. He's saying, hold on. I heard Tijuana when you go out there. You know the hoes, they cheap. They cheap as hell, like twenty dollars, thirty dollars type. So you telling me he ain't have enough money to pay? But some tier one put, I don't believe that, bro. You know, or maybe you just supposed to be paying for everything. Maybe it's supposed to be all on you. Maybe you, you know, maybe you said, "Hey, come on, I got you." You know what I'm saying? Now you trying to turn around on them, and then it so whack funded your whole boxing career. Is that what I'm hearing? Is that what everybody's hearing? That whack funded his whole boxing career in Mexico. Wow, who knew that? Let's get into it. Oh, bro. <laughs> I know people went down there and lost. Ain't no taking no fall. But let's just say if that's true, right? Why are you telling? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So did you y'all don't remember? Whack, whack, and the, the, the other big homie out in the boxing, he don't really do this internet stuff. You know what I'm saying? But we was all one. We was all we, we all one. We all we all together. You know what I'm saying? And so him, when they holler at whack, that's who got me out of my Don King contract. You know what I'm saying? Big, you ain't got, got no pull on nothing, bro. 
when I was about to fly out there and go do something to Don King for playing with my money, that's uh, the homie, Wack 100, pressed them niggas. Gave me a release immediately. So I don't know what dude talking about. So then dude say this. He said, 600 is sending everybody money in jail. <laughs> He's looking for friends. He sent everybody money in the pen. Hey, bro, listen. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. I still do it to this day. I send niggas money who don't even know that mother. Nigga on the phone with me in the pen. Where you at, bro? What's up? Hey, what homies you up there with? Who off from neighborhood up there? Oh, it's me, woo doo doo from woo doo the homie over here from woo doo I put him on the phone, bro. I'm gonna get everybody some money. Put him on the phone. I'm gonna send everybody hundred dollars right now. Put him on the phone. That's just how I get down, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Now, when you when your case, okay? yeah, but why? Just it's just cause like I'm trying to figure that out. Like, why? Like, why? I mean, because that would insinuate that you're paying for friends in a way. Like, you don't know these niggas. You just send a honey or just because they from neighborhood or maybe you just want to be in their good graces. Who knows? Case is over. We're going to see who runs stuff. We're going to see who go PC. Oh, but you got a fair case, so you might not hit the state. But <laughs> So, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you saying as if that's a bad thing. One last time you sent the homie some money. Because you bleeding the city and bleeding the community for your own personal benefit. One last time you sent some homies some money, bro. You know what I'm saying? I send money homies, homies money every day. Homies and homies I've, I've never seen before. Yeah. And I might not never see A lot of these got elbow. But I, we can get on the phone, though, for sure. Make shit happen. Yeah, I'm tapped in. So you just hope, you better hope you, uh, <laughs> you, you don't pop up in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's a whole other subject. You know what I'm saying? So you saying like that's the bad thing, huh? You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Dude was a clown, bro. So what else does Bozo say, bro? The cut dude said some Bozo stuff. I'm like, what's wrong with that? You know what I'm saying? He said, uh, <laughs> I paid for Brazil. He said, oh, I'm not from the area. He said he paid <laughs> some in Mexico, bro. Come on, bro. I, we, we go in your room, bro. You laying on a bed, bro. On your laptop, face first, legs twinkling in the air, bumping LMA. <laughs> Can we call SP? <laughs> he was with us. He nah, man. I think you got him confused with three fingers with whack, man. Now they trying to spin the narrative as if he's laying on his stomach, legs in the air. Come on, six other man. These, they, they good, boy. They good, boy. He come get me. I'm next door. He said, man, look at big you. I said, what are you doing? He said, man, I think I'm lay face down on the bed with his feet up, twinkling in the air, bumping LMA. I said, nah, you joking. I walk in there, he bumping LMA. I said, what's wrong with this dude? Kind of like funny, you know what I'm saying? These are facts. I ain't told no lies. He know this. Okay, and I got a whole bunch of stuff about this dude that I refuse to talk about. But since you want to talk about our Mexico trip, I'm going to wait for your response and we got some more stuff that we could talk about our Mexico trip and a few other trips that we made. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget. We flew to New York. Your people stood you up. You had to sleep on my floor on my Airbnb that I paid for because you couldn't get a room. And let's not to mention the place that you were scared to go and people you was with were scared to go certain places. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to just talk about it gradually as you talk about it. So if you want to talk about the Mexico trip, we can talk about the Mexico trip. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what it is, bro. You're trying to brag about knocking somebody eye out like you really putting in work on some enemies just scared of you. No enemies are scared of you, bro. You you kumbaya friendly with the enemies, bro. And you try to use the hood to scare homies. That's what you do. You try to use the hood to scare the homies. So you want to bully someone who's 140 pounds and knock their eye out, then brag to an enemy, you know what I'm saying, who don't hate the hood, who did a whole video talk, tell him, talking about you a snitch. You want to you wanna, you wanna brag to them like you putting in work. Tell the truth. You knocked the homie's eye out who was 140 pounds. But we got them thinking you just sick in jail putting in work like you got somebody scared of you, bro. Yeah. Y'all seen who I called and who I have on the phone? Yeah, when he got pressed. Y'all remember that? Yeah, sneak. From insane. 
Everybody know what was going on, bro. So don't let listen. Don't let me start tapping in with all the homies. You know what I'm saying? Because I really ain't really been tripping. See y'all soon. All right, man. No, enough of six, honey. And his ranch and raving, man. <laughs> he stay on Big U top, right? He stay on his top. So y'all see what it is, man. He goes in on Big U, goes in on Cowboy. Stay tuned for more. Who knows? What is he insinuating about Big U laying on his stomach? Is he trying to revert the whole whack thing to Big U now? Who knows? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. Like, comment, subscribe right now. Smut Free TV, Rockstar Reactions. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all know we got the hottest content in these internet streets. Rockstar Reactions.